working on an abscess between the bicuspid and the molar from the inside. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm working the back of the bicuspid and that's releasing. More or less the bicuspid is surrounded by abscess. So that's causing a general disruption in that entire area. So it's real important for me to get rid of that abscess for the future of the bicuspid and then basically for the future of that whole side. This is what I think you would call end stage periodontal disease. So I'm trying to prevent what may be the inevitable really, but we're going to see what happens. I'm just amazed by how much stuff is there, how damaged that all is. Let's try it again. What I'm doing is a general sweep. I'm going in as deeply as I can with this curette. This is the micro mini. And the advantage of this curette is it's very, very skinny. I'm more concerned about getting rid of abscess than I am about getting rid of calculus. This thing can get rid of some calculus too. But the main thing is that it inserts deeply. And then when I swing around, that's giving the abscess a chance to escape. After a few hours of doing this, the area starts to open up. So you get opportunities you may not get so easily again or without opening everything up again. But let's do this again and I would suspect I'm going to just get more and more for, for quite some time. Like I said, what happens after a few hours of this curatage is the whole area opens up so it turns into just a great opportunity to get rid of everything you can possibly get rid of. And then if you do a good job, it, it ends up healing up, strangely enough. At least that's my experience. Okay, so I'm going to try to get it in as deep as I can and then sweep around. Plus, it is traumatized, so it hurts. Okay, here it goes. Okay, now, in particular, I want to get any deeper abscess out of there. I'm going to switch to the Langer. Let's see if I can get some depth in there. There's some deep calculus in there, and I think there's a deeper abscess. So you get abscess and you get deep abscesses. So if the deep abscess is still there, then that's going to turn into the abscess. So it just gets very, very treacherous. So let's try this. Oh, all right. All Another blob. Not as large as I thought it would be. Still two giant blobs. You can see right there. 